right next to me, I've got the Brother NS2850D, and I'm Megan from Rocky Mountain Sewing and Vacuum. Today we're going to be talking about this machine, which is a fantastic sewing and embroidery machine combo. First off, though, we're going to talk about the embroidery side. So, with this machine, it does come with a 5 by 7 inch hoop. So this is kind of your standard size, what I usually recommend when you're first starting embroidering, because it's not so small, but it's not too big. So it's not overwhelming, but you do have a lot of capability to do a lot of different things. I like this five by seven hoop specifically to do like a shirt design. It's also good on a reusable bag. Um, I've also seen people do baby onesies, quilt labels. There's so many different possibilities you can do. And with a five by seven hoop, that tends to be a very common size. So it's a really good one to get started with. The other thing is brother has an agreement with Disney. So on this machine, there's actually tons of categories of Disney designs. So there's six in total. If you want something like Star Wars or Marvel or something like that, you can go to Disney or to brothers iBroidery website, which has all sorts of Disney designs that you can choose from. I've seen some really cute things with like R2-D2 and stuff like that. Anyways, I digress. In these different ones, there's tons of really cute, sweet designs. Like that's Mickey as an astronaut. So we're going to go with that. On the screen here, I can see what hoops are available for whichever one I'm going to be embroidering on. I can also move it, rotate it, delete it. Depending on the design you have, if it's not Disney, you can also resize it and play with the density of it. Um, so if I am done, I can go to the next screen. I can attach my hoop. There we go. And then on the bottom here, there's like a little placement arrow, which kind of traces where your design is going to go, which I do this every single time I hoop a um, bag or a shirt, just to make sure that my placement is exactly where I want it to go. I don't know if you've ever embroidered something where it ended up cockeyed. It looks a little weird. So... <laughs> It's good to double check before you start. All right, so it traced my design. I know exactly where it's gonna stitch. I can go to embroidery and I'm already ready to go. Woo woo! However, I'm not gonna embroider right now because that is a 31 minute design. I don't think we wanna sit here and watch that. Um, but along with that, I forgot to mention one of the coolest features that they added into this machine, which I thought they were lacking for a long time and I'm so excited they finally did it. They added a color sort button. So that color sort button specifically is really good if you're doing something like quilt labels or doing a bunch of ornaments for a tree or embellishments. What it'll do is if you have, say we have uh, blue, white, and orange or something, say we're doing something Broncos, um, you can do all of the blue at once, then you can do all of the white at once, and then you can do all of the orange at once. Instead of going blue, white, orange, blue, white, orange, blue, white, orange, it ends up being a really cool button that you will absolutely utilize when you're making a whole bunch of presents for the family or whatever you're going to be doing. So after we talk about embroidery, let's switch over to the sewing side. So on this machine, that's right, I do have to turn it off and take the embroidery unit off. It really doesn't take too much effort. I turn it back on, let her wake up. I'm not going to switch to the sewing foot right now. That is something that we go over in our machine usage classes, which if you haven't taken them before, if we teach them on pretty much every machine, I highly recommend it. It will make you learn so much about your machine and get so much more comfortable and create so many more projects. So of course, awesome, right? So on the sewing side of the machine, we've got tons of different decorative stitches up here. I also failed to mention earlier that this machine also kind of walks you through some of those basics that we sometimes forget how to do. So say your machine's been in storage, you went on vacation in the summer, you came back in August, went, cool, time to work on presents. How do I do this again? <laughs> the machine actually has a couple of arrows to direct me to the right thing. And if those don't make any sense and they're like Greek to me, I can go down to this button right here where it has some built-in tutorial videos, which make it nice and easy so that I know exactly what I'm doing. It's two o'clock in the morning. My bobbin ran out. I don't remember how to do it. I can just press that button here and it will walk me through every single step of what I need to do. I always think that is a great, great, great thing to have. <laughs> I also love all the crazy decorative stitches that are available on the machine. I love using decorative stitches for top stitching or if I'm doing something that maybe I'm not quite driving in a straight line when I'm sewing. Those uh, decorative stitches can kind of help embellish and make it look cooler, even if you do go a little bit on vacation because you're a novice sewer sewing in your hotel room right before the anime convention that you're attending. 
but you know. <laughs> um, along with that, you can go in here and you can get to all those decorative stitches nice and easily. It also has one-step buttonholes. Those have been a lifesaver for all of the like school uniforms that I've had to make before too. So all in all, this Brother NS2850D is a fantastic sewing and embroidery uh, combination machine. It's great for classes, to bring to a friend's house. It's great for you to learn on. It's great for you to start with embroidery. It just is a great, beautiful machine overall. It also works with the Brother Art Spear app. We'll have a video on that eventually to tell you how cool that one is as well. But there's just so many neat things built into it. I highly recommend coming and checking it out at one of your local Rocky Mountain sewing and vacuum stores. We appreciate you and I hope you have fun playing with this machine. <laughs>